Hello and welcome everyone. I am Aya Zafar and I am thrilled to have you join me in today's tutorial. I have been working with Angular for about 7 to 8 years I guess, specializing in creating dynamic and responsive web applications. Angular has been a pivotal part of my development journey and I am excited to share my insights and experiences with you. In today's session, we are diving into the world of Angular 17, specifically focusing on ng-style directives. ng-style is a powerful feature in Angular that allows you to dynamically set inline styles in your templates. This feature is incredibly useful for customizing the appearance of components based on applications, state or user interactions. Throughout this tutorial, we will cover the basics of ng-style and how to use it in your Angular projects. Advanced techniques and best practices for optimizing your use of ng style real world examples demonstrating ng style in action solving common ui challenges and of course i will provide you with hands on code snippets and through the explanation of how it all work this tutorial is designed for broad audience whether you are just starting out with Angular or you are an intermediate developer looking to sharpen your skills, there is something here for everyone. My goal is to make sure that by the end of this tutorial or video, you will have a solid understanding of ng style and how to implement it effectively in your Angular applications. So grab your favorite beverage and get comfortable and let's get started on this exciting journey into Angular 17 and the world of dynamic styling. <clears throat> Let's start with the basics of ng-style. ng-style is an angular directive that allows, you, allows us to apply inline styles to HTML elements dynamically. Unlike static styling where you define styles in CSS files, ng-style enables you to change styles based on your components, logic, user interactions or any dynamic conditions in your applications. Now let's see ng-style in action with simple example. Imagine we have a basic component and we want to change the background color based on the property in our TypeScript file. So let's open our app.component.ts file for that purpose. And here I will define a property color blue. So this property holds the color value. Now let's go to the HTML and here I will add the directive ng style. And then I will add the object with the property background color and the value color that we defined in the ts file so in this code the divs background color is bound to the color property of our component when the value color changes the background color of the div changes accordingly so let's look at that in the browser okay you can see that it is picking the blue color from the property if i change it to the red then it will become the red or orange okay now let's dive into the more complex use cases. ng style becomes incredibly powerful when combined with the component logic. It allows you to change the styles dynamically in response to various conditions like user inputs, data changes or even animations. For example, let's say we want to adjust the font size of a paragraph based on a user's preference stored in a variable. So this is how you can do that. So for that, first of all, I will define a property here with the name font size is equal to 24 pixels and here let me add it in the p tag and here i will add the ng style and then i will give it an object now i will add font size property in that object and now i will use the font size variable okay <clears throat> uh, make sure to add pixels here okay you can change it and it will be applied <clears throat> there is another way that if you don't want to specify the pixels here you can just add the number here and in the html here you can use dot px px okay you will notice that it will still work so in this example we are using font size property to dynamically set the font size of the paragraph text the .px suffix in font size is a unit specifier which tells Angular to apply the style with the pixel units when the font size value changes in our TypeScript code perhaps through a user interaction the paragraph's font size will adjust automatically. Let's take this step further 
imagine you have an application where you need to highlight a certain element based on specific conditions like showing an error message in red a success message in green with ng style you can easily achieve this by tying your styles to component logic so for that let's add another property here that would be is error is equal to false <coughs> or true <coughs> now here i will add a div and in that div i will show a message this message color changes based on the is error flag and here i will add the ng style directive and we will use the condition if is error is true then use this property color is red otherwise use this object color is green okay so we are using two objects so in this code we are using a ternary operator with ng style to dynamically set the text color if is error is true the text will be red indicating an error if it's false the text will be green indicating the success this approach is very powerful for creating responsive and interactive user interfaces let's quickly check it you can see we have the red error which is the background color so it is showing the red color but if you set the error false then the message would be green so as you can see ng style is a style tool in angular that lets you create more dynamic responsive applications experimenting with different scenarios and conditions can help you better understand its potential and how it can enhance the user experience of your apps now let's move on to some real world applications where ng style can be practically useful let's delve into some real world examples where ng style can really shine and solve actual problems these examples will demonstrate how ng style can enhance your ui ux of angular applications first up let's talk about dynamic theming Imagine you have a dashboard where users can choose their preferred theme with ng style changing the theme dynamically becomes a breeze. So let's say go back to the <coughs> app component and here I will define theme color is equal to light blue. Now in the app component.html let me change this background color with the theme color. Okay. So, so in this snippet, the theme color variable can be set by the user, changing the background color of the dashboard accordingly. It's a simple yet effective way to improve user engagement and personalize user experience. Next, consider a scenario where you are visualizing data like showing the health status of different systems in a network. So for that, you can simply go back to the TS file and here add a property system status is normal it can be normal warning or critical okay now let's go back to the html <coughs> i will remove the extra things from here and here i will add a div and within that div i will show the system status system status system status okay and here i will add ng style and i will call a function get system status style system status okay now let's define that function that we just used in html so here i will receive the status from the parameter and here i will use a switch statement so if case is normal then return an object with some styles like background color is green and the color is white okay and if case is warning then return the object with the background color yellow and the color should be black of the text and if it is critical critical then return the background color red with the color white and at the end by default we will just return the empty object okay 
So here we use a function get system status style to determine the style of our div based on system status variable. This approach is great for dynamically changing the styles in response to data changes, making your application more intuitive and responsive. So now let's quickly see that you can see it is showing the background color red a green. Okay, you can also move it here as well if you want to. <clears throat> okay, and now let's quickly change the system status from normal to warning. Okay, you can see that the color is changed. If the status is critical, then it will show in this way. Now let's walk through each part of these examples to understand how they work. In the first example with dynamic theming, the key is binding of the style property to component variable. When the theme color changes, Angular automatically updates the inline style of the div, resulting in the seamless transition of the background color. In the second example, where uh, we are using TypeScript function to return the appropriate style object based on the system status, this method gives us more flexibility and allows us to handle more complex styling logic elegantly. So these examples just scratch the surface of what's possible with the ng style. As you can start it with your own projects, you will discover many creative ways to enhance the user experience and solve practical problems with dynamic styling. Now let's talk about some best practices for using ng style effectively and efficiently in Angular applications. It's crucial to use this directive wisely to maintain the performance and readability of your code. Firstly, remember that ng style is intended intended for dynamic styling if your styles are static it's better to define them in css files over using ng style for static styles can clutter your templates and make them harder to maintain next keep your logic simple when using ng style keep the logic as simple as possible complex logic within templates can hard to debug and understand if uh, hard to debug and understand <coughs> If the styling logic is complex, consider moving it into the component class or using Angular's built-in directives like ng class. Next is performance consideration. Be mindful of performance. Ng style evaluations happen frequently, especially when tied to dynamic variables. So avoid heavy computations or operations within these bindings <clears throat> there are some common pitfalls and solutions so first one is overuse of inline styles <clears throat> here pitfall is overusing inline styles can lead to difficulty in maintaining and overriding styles and the solution is to limit the use of ng style to cases where the styles need to change dynamically use external css for st static styles next one is complex expressions in templates here the pitfall is writing complex expressions for ng style directly in the templates and the solution is if the logic for styling is complex move it to the component class this makes your code cleaner and more maintainable finally let's highlight some of the new features uh, or changes in angular 17 related to the ng style Angular is constantly evolving with each new version and we get improvements and new capabilities. In Angular 17, while there are no major overhauls specific to ng style, the overall performance improvements <coughs> and enhancements in Angular's change detection can positively impact how ng style and other directives perform. This means smoother and more efficient style updates, especially in complex applications. <coughs> It's always a good practice to keep up with the latest Angular updates and understand how they can affect the directives and features you use. By staying informed and adhering the best practices, you can ensure that your Angular applications are not only powerful and dynamic but also efficient and maintainable. Alright, it's time to put theory into practice. We are going to have a live coding session where I will build a small project to demonstrate of use of ng style. This will give you a real feel for how to implement everything we have discussed so far. So let's create a simple angular component that changes its appearance based on user input. We will make a text box where user can type in a color and our component will change its background color to that color. This example will help us to understand the dynamic nature of ng style. So go to the app component. I'm going to get rid of everything here. <coughs> Here we, I will specify the default background color is equal to white and I will define a function update 
background color and here i will set the background color to the color that was given from the parameter okay now head over to the html file of that component and here i will pass the object with the background color and give it the background color that you defined okay now here i will add my input with type text and here i will register the input event on this input and i will call my function update color and here event dot target dot value would give us the value from this input uh, i'm getting some type error so i will just pass the target uh, and we will get value from here target dot value okay now i will check test it in the browser so now let's add red you can see the background color is red yellow orange blue so as you can see we have an input field and a div the input field call input field calls update background color on each input event updating our background color property the divs background color is bound to this property so it changes as you type in the input field now let's quickly talk about testing and debugging when working with ng style you want to ensure that your styles update as expected under various conditions to test our implementations try inputting different color values you can also input invalid values to see how your application behaves for example if you enter a string that is not a valid color the background color should not change debugging common issues with ng style usually involves checking the binding expressions and ensuring the components properties are correctly updated <coughs> in our example if the background color is not changes is not changing make sure the update background color method is correctly updating the background color property remember the key mastering ng style is practice and experiment don't be afraid to try new things and push the boundaries of what you can do with dynamic styling in angular all right as we wrap up today's session i want to leave you with some additional resources for further learning these will help you deepen your understanding of angular and ng style for further learning there are some books that you may try one is angular up and running second second one is pro angular 17 further you can head over to the angular documentation website so this is great for staying up to date with the latest features and best practices and second website is stack overflow it is a valuable resource for troubleshooting and community support these resources are excellent for both beginners and experienced developers to enhance their angular skills thank you so much for joining me today we have covered a lot from the basics of ng style to its advanced usage along with practical demonstrations remember ng style is a powerful tool in angular for dynamic styling and it can greatly enhance the user experience of your applications i encourage you to practice what we have learned experiment with ng style in your projects and don't hesitate to be creative if you found this tutorial helpful then please hit that like button subscribe for more content like this and share it with your friends and colleagues Stay tuned for more tutorials. In the upcoming videos, we will upload more Angular related tutorials like reactive forms and many more. So you will not want to miss it. <laughs> Once again, thank you for watching. Your support and feedback mean the world to me. So keep coding, keep learning and I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye and happy coding.